Hey everyone, it's Doug from Bjorn Territory, and in this episode, I'll show you how I painted and based the Napoleonic French Line Horse Artillery with a six pounder. How you like this one? Catch you in a bit. Right, so for the Napoleonic French Line Horse Artillery, uh, starting with a crew, I base coated everything in a in a grey, and I come in with the flesh first, and this is Kiss Left Flesh from Games Workshop, and I build up. Each layer I put on top of the next tidies up the one underneath. So it should be quite a fast method. I don't need I don't need to worry to start with about how neat I am. It should improve as I go on. I change the brush and get a smaller brush and tidy it up. A couple of coats of this makes the colour stand out to begin with. I'm going to do all the crew in a batch as well. So I'll get all the flesh all together and then the next colour, etc. Next colour for the artillery crew is contrast blue, the ultramarine blue, and it quite dark. And do two coats of this. Okay, so the next colour is contrast black. That'll be for the Chaco. We'll do two coats, as well as the cartridge box. Scabbard for the sword. Okay, so the red now, or the uniform, it's quite a lot of it. So the Chaco, blue midge, and then just strip around the top. And the bottom strip. The upper lips. Tricky bit. It's a bit nice bit. So, side of the trousers and the slight lacing, I suppose, sides. Brown for this bit. But most of the other wood items are green. This is brown. Next colour is flat white. And then Balfasol Gold for the cat badge, handle of the sword, and for the buckles, 
for the six pounder gold, I use Balfour gold to begin with. Like a first layer of metallic. Okay, for the limber, just coming in with me, uh, intermediate green uh, for the wheels and well, all the limber. For the artillery crew, just coming in with ripened flesh, for bronze bits and flesh. Just did start and wash. For the gun barrel, also going to come in with ripened flesh as a wash. So the next wash, big wash for the uniform, is Agrax Earthshade. Go absolutely everywhere other than the flesh. It ties everything together, makes it a bit grimy. Cam campaign look. Let that dry. So on the gun, just coming in with lead belcher on the wheel edge. And when that's done, we'll wash it. Also the cap of the wheel, the lead belcher on both of them. On the main structure for the gun, metal on the edge, supports. Known oil for all the metal parts as a wash, quite a heavy wash, and I'll darken it down. For the green wood, I'm coming in with Acrax Earthshade as a wash. Now that the washes are dry, it's coming in with Gisela Flesh to make it pop again on the features of the artillery crew. Don't to forget the hands, make them pop a little bit more. But remembering to keep the crevices of shadows still in. Now I'll come back in, tidying up the blue uniform and make it stand out where it needs to stand out. And now for the red, just to add in a bit of Evil Sun Scarlet to make it pop on the edges. The artillery crew. Last bit of colour is adding in a little piece of gold and the cat badge, buttons, buckle. Placed everything down, all the artillery crew and the gun onto a base, and now I'm coming in with PVA glue ready for the base ready material to go on top. Let's just make sure go in and all the corners and the feet.
Now that it's glued, I come in with my base ready Mediterranean soil and no easy way of saying it, I just chuck it on. And tip it off. Just before it finishes, I spray it with the matte scenic sealant from Geek Games Scenics and that'll hold all, all of it in place. Okay, there you go. There's my Napoleonic French line horse artillery with a six pounder. Fully based, done, painted. And I put a few extra tufts on there as well, just to give it a little bit of, little bit of points of interest on there, which is quite cool. Hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some tips and tricks to get on with your own little painting projects you might have and to give you some confidence to get going and or complete some of your painting projects. All right, thanks for watching. Take care, look after yourselves. And if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe. Take care, see you soon, bye.